The first smartphone with a 2K display got announced today. Microsoft seems to plan to announce their CEO until next year, and if you're wearing a Pebble smartwatch, things might get even better very soon. I'm Jaime Rivera, and yeah, I told Microsoft to wait until next year. I'm not available right now. I have to film these videos, but this is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news, as those of you that thought the 2K displays were not going to happen this year, well, think again. We have the Vivo X-Play 3S smartphone for China, which sports a 2K display and some very awesome specification Snapdragon 800 processor, uh, 3 gigs of RAM, aside from the fact that it also has a 13 megapixel camera and a fingerprint scanner. And to make matters even better, it costs only 580 bucks unlocked. And even though we won't see this phone here soon, apparently it will be available for CES 2014. So so stay tuned for that, we'll definitely be looking out for it. And speaking of 2K displays, a company that was planning to be the first company to bring the first smartphone with a 2K display and is actually late is Meizu. We've been waiting for that phone for quite a while and as it turns out, the company has just announced that they are planning to move into the US market. Apparently, they're going to be using CES 2014 as their platform to announce their products. So it's great to see that there is more competition and it's great to see that we'll probably get a lot more innovation than just from the current big tier companies that we already know. So um, let's see how that goes. CES 2014 will definitely be interesting. Now let's talk about Microsoft as the company has finally announced Xbox Video for Windows Phone. This is something that a lot of people have been waiting for. You will now be able to access your movies from your Xbox library to your phone, something long overdue. But the problem is that currently you're limited. You can't really access HD content. Well, you can't access HD content, you just can't really see it in HD, which is odd since most Windows phones right now have a 720p display. But anyway, stay tuned. This will probably get better and hopefully we will be getting more storage options for future Windows phones since 16 gigs for a movie is too little. Now let's talk about Microsoft as the company has just laid it flat. We're not getting a CEO announcement until next year. And this is kind of obvious. I mean, we're at the holiday season. The company is pretty much wrapping up the end of the year. And obviously the new CEO will want to start fresh with a new year fully. Hopefully we'll be getting this announcement probably at CES or MWC. We don't really know. Or most probably a Microsoft event of its own. But it's definitely clear that we're going to have to be waiting. And let's just hope they call me up soon. I mean, I'm still kind of waiting. And finally, for the hot news of the day, those of you who have been wearing a Pebble smartwatch since the beginning of time, which would be a couple of days for me, the company has just announced that they will be launching an app store, which will bring free content initially, and then eventually they will be bringing paid content, though obviously they're working with developers on the pricing scheme, and I'm kind of curious as to how they're planning to do that with the limited storage that's available on the Pebble. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Um, if you haven't bought a smartwatch yet, would an app store make you want to buy a smartwatch? Is that really something that you're looking for. In my particular case, I bought a smartwatch because I needed a watch and it didn't make sense to not go smart since they're already available, but leave us a comment down below. Honestly, for me, an app store is not really that relevant yet, but let's see what they bring. And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.